Goddamn. Wouldn't it be nice if we could play that on the 2XL2 <laughs> right. and not die? Yeah. <laughs> sounds enormous. <laughs> what about what about the other one? How does that is kind of cool and that's brass yeah. right because because it's brighter yeah you know so it, it depends on the on the musical context of course you know it you could have the same mouthpiece in two materials depending on what music you're playing but it typically you know if you're going to play that you know fucking hardcore yeah it's going to usually be a shallower mouthpiece by the way did you know that that's that that's him yeah. Okay, you did. Okay, cool. <laughs> and yeah, what we play on what we played together on those gigs yeah. was small and extra small cups. Yeah. You're on the extra yeah. fucking large. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, but it's cool that you can still when you step on the gas, it still has like yeah. enough cool. yeah. enough sparkle for For him, bronze, yeah. and that is three guys in a row. Three in a row with XL two cups. Mm -hmm. Everybody buys the large cups because the, on the website you see, oh, the equivalent of a Bach C cup is the large, and the equivalent of of a B cup is the extra large or the XL two. And people are like, oh, I don't play B cups. Fuck that. Now, please, <laughs> I'm not a masochist. But this is really when when people actually try the mouthpieces. That's that's where that's where they go. It's very fun. Well, until they try it, they're not going to believe that such a big cup is actually going to be so easy to play. But you can just like play those E flats in the high end <laughs> like like it's nothing, or hit a bunch of Fs, or you know like it's yeah. it it does it's not possible to in people's minds because it's never happened before. When's the last time you played a B, a B cup? And felt like a fucking man. But you certainly sound like one right now. <laughs>
you yeah, notice yeah. that it's not it that is. there's it's not that there's like somehow more crazy high end or brightness or shine like things that trumpet players talk in or even the volume or it's, or it's, volume. Loud, it's just that there's the they, sound, I say yeah. the EQ is yeah. more full. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, of course. Uh, Good. That's the interesting, that's another thing, is that the nickel on that receiver, it, when you play soft, it's kind of neutral. It doesn't really, it doesn't ah. start doing the nickel thing until you start playing louder. And then it goes, ah. you know? Um, so when you play softer, we're hearing more the effect of the bronze, of the bronze slide. Then when you step on the gas and you put more energy into vibration right at the beginning, then the nickel says, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's <laughs> so that's why you get to have such a wide color range. stage in a loud band that would be cool yeah you know yeah but that's not going to work in the orchestra that's the right combination for uh turning that horn into a lead one yeah right like the lead mouthpiece popping that nickel slide it's pure hatred That yeah. bronze slide really balanced the trumpet out completely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. how can you possibly tell someone the difference? Yeah. They got it. They have to feel it. Yeah. Yeah. 